Hi, today I want to talk about Mazu, aka Lin Mo Niang, who is a widely worshipped goddess in Taiwan, mainland China, and other Asian regions. Even though she is super popular in East Asia, not a lot of people in the English-speaking world know about her. Most of the info about Mazu is in Chinese. Lucky for you, I speak Chinese, so I thought it would be awesome to gather some cool facts about her and share them with you in English. So, are you ready? Let's dive in. Mazu, also known as the Lin Mo Niang, is a revered deity in Chinese folk belief. The belief in Mazu has spread throughout coastal regions of Shenzhen, Fujian, Guangdong, Henan, and Shandong Peninsula and Tianjin. It also has been transmitted to Taiwan, the Ryukyu Island, mainland Japan, Singapore, and beyond by immigrants from these areas. Originally named Lin Mo Niang, Mazu is also known as the Heavenly Holy Mother, Tianxiang Shenmu, and by several other titles. A Mazu story began in 960 AD in Meizhou Island, where she was born to the Lin family. From a young age, she was said to display supernatural abilities, leading a life devoted to spiritual practice. Renowned for her intelligence and the taciturn nature, she was a practitioner of both Taoism and Buddhism, who is said to have used her deep spiritual insight and powers to predict and influence the fortune and misfortune of sailors and fishermen, guiding them away from storm and leading them to safety. Her ability to forecast weather and protect those at sea earned her the title of Sea Goddess. With countless temples and shrines dedicated to her worship, especially in coastal regions. After her death, Mazu is said to have ascended to heaven and became a goddess due to her act of bravery and kindness. It's said that she continued to protect sailors and fishermen, appearing to them in visions or dreams to guide them away from danger. There are even legends where she manifests in the tumultuous seas as a beautiful woman in red, calming storm and safeguarding sailors and fishermen. This led to widespread venerations as a protective goddess of the sea. Mazu is perceived as a powerful and benevolent goddess, holding a significant place in the heart of her followers. Her worship was officially recognized during the Song Dynasty, with her temple becoming centers of religious activities. Mazu holds a place of special reference in Taiwanese society, especially through the notable temples dedicated to her, such as Dajia Zenlan Temple, Chaotian Temple in Beigang, and several others. Legends of Mazu There are many legends associated with Mazu, which highlight her miraculous powers and benevolent acts. Here are some of my favorites. Miraculous rescues at sea with astral projection. While Mazu still living as a mortal named Ling Mo Niang, in the year she turned 16, her father and brothers encountered a violent storm at sea during a trading journey. While she was at home weaving, Ling Mo Niang sensed their distress. Instantly, she performed astral projection, soaring over the ocean to their rescue. She managed to hold on her father's with her arm, while gripping her brother's belt in her mouth. Meanwhile, back at home, her mother found Ling Mo Niang motionless beside the lune, and feared the worst, be began to cry out in despair. Ling Mo Niang quickly responded, waking up with tears in her eyes, and recounted the entire ordeal to her mother. Three days later, her father returned with the news that while she successfully saved her father, her elderly brother has tragically perished, exactly as Ling Mo Niang has described. Leading the family realized that Ling Mo Niang was extraordinary, possessing ability beyond those of ordinary people. Battle with the demons, who later became her guardian spirit. There is a legend that once Mazu saw a young and beautiful girl being carried in a sedan chair to be offered as a sacrificial offering to appease two powerful demons terrorizing a mountain village. Demanding a beautiful girl a sacrifice each year to see their misdeeds, Ling Mo Niang resolutely took the place of the girl and was carried forward to the sacrifice. The two demons, delighted by Ling Mo Niang's beauty and grace, were overjoyed. However, she showed no fear and solemnly told them, You must abandon your wicked ways and stop harming the people. The two demons considered her merely a mortal woman, paid no heed. Ling Mo Niang, seeing that the demons were stubborn and unrepentant, deemed it necessary to teach them a lesson and, and challenge them to a battle. The demon, towering and as strong as oxen, immediately took up a fighting stance. Unexpectedly, after only a few moves, they were all throated by Ling Mo Niang, whose power was superior. 
Realizing they were at a disadvantage and attempting to retreat, Lin Moniang pointed her finger toward the sky, and a gigantic rock weighing thousands of pound flew down, hovering above the head of the demons. At this moment, the demons knelt and begged for mercy, willing to renounce their evil ways and follow Mazu forever, assisting her in her righteous deeds. These two demons are now known as the guardian spirits Qian Liyan and Shen Fengye, who assist Mazu. Qian Liyan can see anything from thousands of miles away. His job is to watch over the world and see who needs help and report to Mazu. Shen Fengye has the ability to hear sounds from great distance, and his job is to listen to the world's cries and also report to Mazu. They combine their exceptional powers. With Chen Liyan's unparalleled vision and Shen Fengye's extraordinary hearing, to form a vigilant duo that serves Mazu, ensuring no call for help goes unnoticed, and aiding her mission to protect and assist those in peril, especially across the vastness of the seas. The Legend of the Bomb Catching Mazu. This one is one of my favorite. The Legend of Bomb Mazu emerged from a period marked by the turmoil of World War II. During this time, Taiwan found itself under Japanese rule, a strategic outpost in the vast Pacific theater of conflict. As a consequence of its occupation, the island became a target for American bombing, aiming to cripple the Japanese military's reach and resources. Amidst this backdrop of war and destruction, where fear and uncertainty cloud daily life, the legend of Mazu catching bomb transcends mere folklore. As the legend goes. In the northeastern part of the Zutong Township, Wuzhong Village, the area suffered heavily from the air raid by American planes. It is said that at that time, the American force dropped a 500-pound bomb, and a woman dressed in red appeared in the sky, catching the bomb with her hands and feet. Afterward, villagers discovered that a statue of Mazu in the Pito Hsing Temple had a broken right index finger and left shoes fallen off. Therefore, the local resident believes that the bomb was caught by Mazu, which leads to Mazu's of the Hsing Temple being called Bomb Mazu. This story, known as Bomb Mazu, is not unique to Zhanghua, but echoes through temples across Taiwan. There are many versions of the story about Bomb Mazu. Each version carries the same essence: a goddess refusal to let her people suffer, a testament to Mazu's enduring protection. This tale weaves a narrative of faith, hope, and profound impact of Mazu belief system in the heart of the Taiwanese, serving as a beacon of light through the shadow of war. Mazu sentenced to celestial prison. I think this one is the most intriguing one. In 1862, Maogang Wei was one of the bustling villages in、um, Tainan area of Taiwan, lively enough to have a night market for evening shopping. According to some records, on the eve of an earthquake, the holy Mazu of the Ten Hao Temple descended to the planchette to warn the people of impending great disaster and urge them to be cautious. However, when the people pressed for more details about the disaster, Mazu did not elaborate further, as divulging the secret of heaven was considered a grave sin and could not be explained further. Due to the outbreak of Dai Chaochun Rebellion starting in April of the year, historically referred to as the Dai Chaochun Incident, the residents of Maogang Wei did not associate the divine warning with a natural disaster, but rather with human calamities, suspecting that Dai's troop or bandit might attack the village. Consequently, they took preventive measures such as sealing doors or and scattering beams to obstruct thieves. Unexpectedly, the disaster turned out to be a massive earthquake, and, and these actions inadvertently hindered escape routes. This misunderstanding of Mazu's warning, or perhaps the revelation of a heavenly secret, led to the legend of Mazu being imprisoned for a hundred years by the heavenly court until her release in 1962. Following her release, a committee was established to rebuild the Tenho Temple, which was complete in 1975. Mazu's attempt to warn her people of an imminent disaster underscore her unwavering willingness to help them, even at the risk of facing consequences from the heavenly bureaucracy for revealing secrets meant to be kept from mortals. This act of divine defiance highlights her compassionate nature and her role as a guardian who prioritizes the well-being of mortals over celestial decrees. 
The legend also cast a light on intricate relationship between divine and the earthly realm. The villagers' misinterpretation of Mardu's warning reflects the limitation of human understanding and the challenges in deciphering divine signs, especially when clouded by the immediate threat of human conflict like Dai Chaochun rebellions. The misalignment between the heavenly warning and an earthly reception inadvertently lead to Mazu's imprisonment, a narrative element that speaks to the complexity of divine-human interaction and the consequence of intervening in mortal affairs. From a more conservative interpretation, this story also hints at a justification for the heavenly bureaucracy's strict rules against revealing the future. It suggests that there might be wisdom in the divine reluctance to share knowledge of future events. So a such revelation can lead to unintended consequences, misunderstandings, and potentially exacerbate the situation they end to prevent. The villagers' preparation for human threat rather than natural disaster illustrate how divine guidance, when misinterpreted, can lead to action that might not only be futile but also harmful. Cultural significance of Mazu. In 2009, the belief of Mazu was inscribed on the UNESCO representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Over time, emperors from various dynasties bestowed upon her numerous honorary titles, elevating her status from a noblewoman to a goddess recognized by the state. This culminated in the Qing Dynasty, where she received the highest honors. The spread of Mazu's worship is closely linked to maritime history and the diaspora of ethnic Chinese coastal communities, forming a significant part of the cultural heritage and social fabric in East Asia and Southeast Asia regions with the ethnic Chinese population. Worship Mazu is an integral part of the cultural and religious life in many ethnic Chinese communities around the world, with numerous temples dedicated to her and various festivals celebrating her legacy. Famous Mazu temples. Here are some of the most famous temples where you can pray to Mazu. Da Jia Zhenlan Temple, Da Jia Zhenlan Gong, located in Taichung, Taiwan. It is famous for hosting one of the largest and, and most significant Mazu pilgrimage festivals in the world. Tianho Temple Taipei, Taipei Tianho Gong, a significant temple located in Taipei, Taiwan, dedicated to Mazu, showing her importance in Taiwanese religious culture. Beigang Shaotian Temple, Beigang Shaotian Gong, a well-known Mazu temple in Beigang, Yunlin County, Taiwan, known for its grand architecture and annual Mazu festivals. Meizhou Mazu Temple, Meizhou Mazu Miao, located in Meizhou Island, Fujian Province, China. This temple is considered the birthplace of Mazu and the most sacred site for her worshippers. Tianjin Mazu Temple Tianjin Tianhou Gong, one of the major Mazu temples in northern China, reflecting the widespread worship of Mazu beyond the coastal area. Tianha King Temple, Tianfu Gong, situated in Singapore. This temple is one of the oldest and most important Hakan temples outside China, dedicated to Mazu. The Mazu Temple of USA, Meiguo Mazu Chaosheng Gong, also known as the San Francisco Mazu Temple, was founded in 1986 by Kao Keita, a, ta uh, a Taiwanese immigrant from Beigang town, and Xin Renu, a Qigong fitness expert. Their mission was to continue the worship of Mazu in America and to promote Mazu's virtue of saving the world and benevolence. Famous festivals associated with Mazu Da Jia Mazu Pilgrimage, Da Jia Mazu Lao Jing. This is the most famous event associated with Mazu, the Da Jia Mazu pilgrimage in Taiwan, which attracts millions of followers. This pilgrimage followed the Mazu's uh, statues from Da Jia Zhenlan Temple across various parts of Taiwan to seek blessings. Beigang Mazu Festival, Beigang Mazu Wenhua Jie. This festival in Beigang, Taiwan, features a procession of Mazu statues and attracts thousands of worshippers and tourists. Mazu's birthday, Mazu Danchen. Celebrated on the 23rd days of the 3rd lunar month, it involves various ceremonies and festivals in Mazu temples worldwide. These temples and festivals not only honor Mazu, but also serve as important cultural gatherings for ethnic Chinese diaspora, promoting unity, cultural heritage, and spiritual values within communities. So here you go! Let me know what you think about Mazu, and if you have any other question, I will maybe Google for you in Chinese. I'm sure from what people also ask. See you next time!